Hello and welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today we celebrate the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our readings come from the Book of Wisdom and from the Gospel of Matthew. In today's Gospel, we hear a parable. Jesus tells us a parable. Listen to the story that Jesus shares because that's what we're going to talk about um, after we listen to the readings today. So we begin. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God but you, and you care for all of us. You don't have to prove that you judge fairly. Your strength gives you the power to do right. And because you rule over all, you have pity on everyone. When someone doubts how strong you are, you show your strength, and you correct everyone that is too proud. You are a powerful master, but you judge us with kindness and rule with great mercy because you have the power to do whatever you want. By doing such things, you have taught your people that those who do right must also care about others. And you have given your children a wonderful hope by helping them turn from sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response in the psalm is, Lord, you are good and forgiving. Say that. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You willingly forgive and your love is always there for those who pray to you. Please listen, Lord, answer my prayer for help. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, the Lord God, are kind and merciful. You don't easily get angry and your love can always be trusted. Look on me with kindness, make me strong and save me. Lord, you are good and forgiving. Alle, 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 luya. Alle, 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 luya. Alle, 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 luya. Alleluia, alleluia. Alle, 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 luya. Alle, 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 luya. Alle, 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 luya, alleluia, alleluia. Please stand. A reading from the book of Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowds, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crops grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, an enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, no, if you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus told parables to help people imagine something different. And he used experiences that they were familiar with so that they could understand better. So a lot of the people at that time were farmers. They planted seed, they grew crops, that's what they did. And he used this parable of the seeds and the sower to help people understand in a way that made sense to them. But even as Jesus told that story, people were still confused. And a little bit later on in the Gospel of Matthew, they actually go into the place where they're staying and they ask Jesus, explain that to us. So a little bit further down in Matthew, Jesus actually gives the apostles an explanation. And what Jesus tells the apostles is this, the one who sows the good seed is the son of man. That's Jesus. The field is the world. And the good seed are the children and the grown-ups 
that follow Jesus and follow God. Those that are weeds are the people that choose not to listen to God, not to follow God. So the wheat and the weed grow together. But come the day of judgment, when we all see God again, then God will know he will take the good and leave the weeds. And so Jesus is trying to tell people that they really need to, you're going to see bad things in the world and there's good and there's bad, but come judgment day, come the day that God, we go and see God again, that God is the one who's going to determine the good and he's going to take the good back to his house. And he's trying to encourage people to, to be the people that God has created them to be, to flourish, to grow, to be fruitful, to practice, to practice um, taking care of each other, to practice loving each other, to practice all the things that God tells us bring us closer to him, to pray. Um, and he's trying even to share that it doesn't matter how big or little you are. So even if you're a little person, uh, a young child, a small seed, you still have the potential to be the biggest tree um, and grow to God's full potential for you when you practice all these things that, that help you grow, which um, prayer and reading the book, reading the Bible and coming to mass and listening to the children's liturgy of the word and really trying to live um, the life that Jesus has modeled for us. Those are the things that are going to help us be fruitful, help us be the people that God intended us to be. And we don't have to wait for, um, for us to be grownups to start trying to be uh, big seeds. We need to do the work right now, even when you're little, even when you're young, in whatever way you can to bring the message of love, the message that God has shared with us through Jesus, the message um, to the rest of the world. So you think about what you can do this week. In Jesus's parable, we're the seeds. And even if we're sometimes in with the weeds, we need to be the wheat. We need to be fruitful and share God's message of love to everyone. Go do good work this week. See you next.